A lifetime has passed since the horrific events of Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Our lives descended into chaos. This new life has toughened and hardened us all. Two copies, please. One black, one with just a touch of cream and 25 sugars. Well, toughened most of us. So guys, let's take it back to the start of your second Lego journey. What were the excitement levels like when that script arrives? I mean, look, we don't, the excitement levels at the beginning of this film were just as high as the first movie, but there's a little bit more pressure because the first movie didn't have any expectations. People thought, a movie about Lego, are they what are they going to do? I, you know, it blows the doors off. Everyone is so excited. So for the second movie, they have these expectations. So there's an ex uh, a lot of excitement going in, but also some pressure to try to get it right. Yeah. And thankfully, according to Rotten Tomatoes, giving us like 95%, mm. we got it right. The name's Rex Danger Vest. Galaxy Defending Archaeologist. Cowboy. And Raptor Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. How much did you guys laugh when you saw the new character Rex and how similar he is to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did a great job, I think, yeah. skewering. Yeah. Uh, your <laughs> my, my, career choices, yes, if you will. Yes. Um, and integrating them into this incredible new character that you get to play. Yeah, that's right. In, in the third Lego movie, they're going to skewer my career choices, but it'll all be like super, uh, super meta indie drama, yeah, yeah, Oscar you'll be doing stuff. A lot of yeah, that stuff. I will yeah, have yeah. been doing a lot yeah. of that stuff. Yeah, in fact, I think that, the, yeah, your character will be Oscar actually, winner. An, his name would be Oscar. Yeah. And he'll be gold. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. He's a cowboy. He works with dinosaurs and he's an archaeologist. Is this how you low-key tell us that the Indiana Jones rumors are true? <laughs> well, you know, I told Chris and Phil, listen, please allow me to be your muse. Dig into my life as much as you want. And um, they pulled that out of the zeitgeist. I think there were like, you know, there was speculation around whether or not I would do Indiana Jones. And I think that's why they put that in there. Maybe just hedging their bets in case I did that <laughs> one day, the movie would hold up. But uh, I, there's no more information about that now than there was before. Bring me your fiercest leader. This guy is the special. This guy was a fierce warrior. Okay, well technically I did the warrior stuff. So you fought and master built and kicked butt and then the hapless male was the leader. He, uh, well. And how many cool parent points did it earn you guys? I uh, think 2,000. Uh, I, nice. I, on the scale of, of 1 to 2,000? Yeah. Full 2,000. We got a full two grand, yep. so pretty cool. Lots of points. <laughs> Have they seen the film yet? His son saw My it. My boy saw it, yeah. My kids are, um, we're seeing it as a big family trip with like all their friends and my nephew and my sister and everybody um, next weekend, yeah. Hang on to your fronds, Planny. We're going to save Lucy and all of the other people who were captured. And what do you want next for your characters? Because they're on this amazing journey already. Yeah. So what, what are they gonna do? You know, we'll have to just like, I think we'll just have to trust again in our brain trust of Chris Miller and Phil Lord to mm -hmm. let them come up with what we could do. It will take them all of the next five years, just like this one did. <laughs> I know it will be great. I can't even imagine what it could be right now, but I felt the same way five years ago. And, I, and now we're sitting on a movie that is just, just dynamite, it's so good. Yeah. And uh, I just hope they don't have like the dog eat my minifig. Yeah, in the That's first five minutes. The, yeah, I just yeah. don't wanna like have the journey be like inside the bowels of a dog. That's yeah. the well, main thing I'm space. worried about. Like inner space. The inner space That's what Lego movie. Be like. That'd be an interesting Lego set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Asteroids! You mind if I save your life? Not at all. <laughs> this is my shit. Are those dinosaurs? <laughs> what are you doing in space? Aliens kidnapped my friends. I'm going to get them back. Lucy, she's such a well-rounded character, and she goes on this incredible journey of like self-discovery and mm -hmm. becoming more comfortable in who she is. Yes. Um, what's the kind of main message from her journey that you hope resonates with you? Yeah, well, I think one of the themes in the movie is you know growing up and sort of trying on different personalities and what sort of makes you feel cool and authentically you. And you know, Lucy is trying to figure out like what authentically she is and and what you present to the world. And you, I, I think one of the messages of the movie is like, you don't have to hide everything from your true friends. Like, they're gonna love you no matter what. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. Thanks, thank you. Janet. Behold the sister sister. Whoa. No woes. Do not give her the
satisfaction of wowing this. Ooh. 